crispy. Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Ultron Builder Figure Ant Man series, Marvel Legends Infinite series, Giant Man. And this is more of a normal man, he's not really giant. There is a box set out there, you can uh, visit Big Bag Toy Store to get that Giant Man. I've heard that it was kind of a disappointing box set, to be honest, but it is available still on uh, Big Bag Toy Store. Look at the back here, get the picture of the actual figure. And then we get the 60 foot Goliath insect sized hero. So pause it and read the rest of that. Get you a better look. And down here are the rest of the figures of the set that I will be reviewing or have already reviewed. So check those out. And of course, I'll do the build a figure Ultron as well. Other than that, let's open it up. So here's Giant Man, aka Normal Man, just because he's normal size. I'm just being stupid. Out of package. See his overall design here, a little bit of uh, detail on his face and throughout, I'm not too thrilled about that hole, he's actually hollow inside there, that looks kind of, feels kind of cheap that way. Get a quick look at his face sculpt, not too bad, looks pretty good, he got some little dots there on his forehead, a little bit extra detail on his antennas, those are can be, they can come out, they can be pliable and come out, but the way he was packaged, they were kind of stuck to his head. And it looks a lot better than the way that Hasbro did the build a not the build a figure, but the the box set that I was talking about earlier in the review, the San Diego Comic Con one, where the antennas were like sticking straight out. He looked like a bowl, it looked really stupid. So that's another reason people weren't really liking that figure or that box set very well. And then throughout we see some black over some uh, plastic red, sculpted in red plastic mostly throughout the figure until we get to the boots and I know I complained about this on the Build-A-Figure uh, Hulk wave for the Blizzard figure where it was all blue and then this came out a different color blue and on here we see the same problem except with red of course where this red on his boots, boots are clearly a different color than the rest of his red on his body and to me it sticks out like a sore, thrum, sore thumb <clears throat> It says it's a really small part of the figure, but it definitely sticks out. And you see black paint showing through the red. It just does not look very good at all. I'm not really too thrilled with that. And then we even got red poking through on his rib cage, which is a pretty normal problem with Marvel Legends with other colors sticking out on the rib cage. That's always a real trouble spot for them. I'm not sure why. I guess it's just because of all the grooves they have in there. Head articulation. This head will go down that far. And it'll go back pretty far as well if I could get a hold of it. Kind of looks weird that far back though. Definitely his neck starts sticking out like he's got a big Adam's apple. Shoulder articulation. You can go out that much. Sorry, I'm messing with my camera a little bit. 360. Uh, upper bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. Wrist swivel with a hinge and his ab crunch feels kind of weird on mine for some reason he won't go back I'm not sure what's up with that but he will go down pretty far I guess uh, most people can't really put their back farther than that I mean I guess they can I don't know what I'm saying race waist swivel has a weird uh, like little locking thing to it I've seen that in another figure I've seen some weird joints lately on these figures it kind of just locks there you can hear it I'm not sure what that is Legs will go up that high. They'll kick back that far. We got a uh, upper thigh swivel. If it'll zoom, of course it doesn't want to. Double jointed knee. Calf swivel. Hinge on the rocker. So overall, this isn't a bad figure. It's not terribly exciting. Uh, there's nothing really to brag about it. I just It's just pretty basic stuff. It does feel kind of cheap. I'm not sure why compared to other Marvel Legends, but it does feel a little bit cheaper. I don't know if it's because of the hollow chest. I'm not sure if all Marvel Legends have a hollow chest or not. Maybe they do. It's just I only noticed it on this figure. Um, it's not a bad sculpt or anything, and paint apps came out okay. I'm just not too terribly excited about it for some reason. Nothing really sticks out or wows me about it. I couldn't tell you if there is a... Toy Biz version of this, I top of my head I can't recall. I know that there's a giant man build a figure, but uh, I can't really tell you if there's a normal size, normal man figure. If you do like the figure, you can check out Big Bad Toy Store in the description. 
below. Uh, you can get the rest of the bath wave and everything else and all the other bath waves, of course, and lots of other cool figures. Other than that, that's all I got for today. Like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Have a good day. Peace.